Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm once again back with Flurp here for more Phasmophobia. We were able to successfully figure out the ghost in the first one, but now drunk... Lerp is a little bit more drunker, and the fight is a little bit harder. The house is going to be a little bit bigger. Exactly. So, good times going on. Let's get going. We can do it. Oh. And now we load into the game. The best part, the part where it feels like the game is broken in some matter. <laughs> oh, I never stop being janky, Phasmophobia. Over a year, and it's still kind of like this, and I think that's the charm of it, to be honest. I guess there's some people who like them. But I like it. Alright, we're here. So, just in case I die this time, which is pretty likely with this map, Mm -hmm. uh, I can hear you, but you can't hear me when I'm dead. So. Oh. Alright then, I'll remember that. Okay. So, like, if you talk when, when I'm dead, I can still respond by, like, throwing shit at you. But I can't, like, say anything. So, yeah, gotcha. just need to be aware of that. I will. So. Alright, I got the EMF for you. Okay. So I, I start same way as I always do. Sound sensors. Um, they are incredibly useful for finding the ghost, so... That's fair. To be fair, that's uh, the forget quickest your... I've ever seen anyone find the ghost, so I'm going to agree with you on that. This yeah. personal name is Carol Brown. Carol Brown. Uh, and our objectives are EMF, smudging the ghost, and escaping a hunt. Okay, I can do that. Let me take this real quick. And... Um, so one thing you might not already know is on professional, the power always starts off. So one of the things we might do at the first is go turn the power on so we can turn lights on. Alright, alright. So I will... Yeah. yeah, we can do that real quick. Let's open up the truck. Oh, this fucking place. Yeah, it's a farmhouse. It's a little bit spooky. Yeah, I'm not down for a farmhouse. Could be worse. We could be doing like asylum or hide. That's true. Let me open the door real quick. Yeah, my arch enemy has doors, so I can't really deal with doors. Well, I got you as far as doors go. Let's see. Oh, uh, it's here. That was not me. Really? Yeah, I'm getting yeah, some EMF. Was... I'm getting a level 2. Let me see. 2 EMF right here. Does that mean it's somewhere deeper down here, or...? Uh, EMF just generally says it's like, this is something that happened here. So it's in one of these two rooms. I've got sounds in both rooms. We can head out and we'll find out real quick. Okay. I'll be in here trying to find the. We should also find those lights. Where are they usually? I already got them all. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, leave me alone with the ghost. This was a good idea. Yep. Ghost. Carol Channing, where are you? Would you like some cameras? I do like cameras. Nice double hold in those <laughs> stands. I get the dual wield. It's pretty great. I really hope that's you. 
it's my uncle. I have to open it up for him. So watch my body. Okay. I'm going to leave you right here at the cross. I hope you're safe. back. Did anything happen? Oh god. EMF3. Are you still in the kitchen? Yes. Okay, so it's probably a kitchen. Oh god. It feels like it's right on the counter. Or maybe it's in the pickle jar. stops for now. It opened this door though, and that's all I really know right now. You got EMF3 in here, so it's probably in here somewhere. We put this down for now. What else should we look for next to bring? Uh, well, we can confirm it's this room with the thermometer. Um, we can... Uh, I'll stop the room just to confirm. If we see something running through this room like wild, then. Oh, oh shit! Lurp. Oh, yeah, God. I'm just checking. Oh, Did you hear that? We're fine. We're fine. Did you hear that? Yeah, we're fine. Are we fine? We're yeah, we're. It closed close the door. I yeah, I did. It. We're fine, though. I heard. Yeah, it kind of spooked. It, was... it may not be this room. Uh, I want to confirm that. I'm also going to leave. So, thermometer can be used to confirm the room once we kind of have an idea. Mm -hmm. Um, next side, we can also check the, the sound sensors and see exactly. So, like, if we're out here and sound happens in the kitchen, it's probably a kitchen ghost. Should I smack some pills? Uh, no, you're... Uh, yes, actually, you need pills. Okay. You just need one. Hasty pills. Uh... It could be both. Yeah, living room and kitchen, like a uh, in between our ghost. Uh, it's gonna be in one of the two rooms, but it could be walking between them. I just need to find the thermometer and check. I'll go check it real quick. Uh, what you could grab is the crucifix and salt, and we can use that to help. All right. This, uh, which one of these is the salt? Oh, I see it. Um, the milk bottle. Yeah, I got you. I got the power of Christ on my side. Power of God and anime. Exactly. They don't know nothing about my book of no anime. Um. Where should I put the salt? Um. In the middle of the doorway and on both sides. Somewhere in the room. So like here and here? Yes. How do I use... there we go. It is a kitchen ghost. Just so you are aware, it is confirmed kitchen. Okay. Is it because it's moving that spooky spaghetti? Uh, well, yes, but I also confirm with the temperature. Oh, okay. okay. This all time. Um, can you? The cross is out. Drop the cross. Where? Where? Um, over on this side of the room. Right here? Right here? Yeah, just drop it here. They don't work in your hands. 
very well. What? What? Yeah, I know. Anyways, can you leave me in the room by myself for a second? You got it. I will see you back Are you in here? Japan. Man, I like that. Thank God for work. Spare box and dots. Spare box and dots? Spirit, spirit box and dots. So it's either a wraith, a phantom, or a yokai. Yep, it's one of those three at this point. Huh, okay, so um, the most I got with EMF was three. Was there freezing temperatures? Uh, there are no freezing temperatures. That's the only thing we can confirm is not there right now. You tried ghostwriting already. Uh, we have a, a book in there, but we don't have two books in there yet. Um, what we should do is we should take either the glow sticks or the UV flashlights and check for fingerprints. And I will smudge the room. Um, what we should also do is both take pills. Are we both really well? Oh, yeah. We should take some pills. Right, let me put down my salt. Pick up, pick up the pills. All right, there we go. I got the UEV. Okay. Let's do it. We're good to go back in now. All right, let's try that again. So, spirit box does not work if you're in the room with somebody else. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So. I may have not smudged it, but that is what was that? a ghost event. Um, check the doors. Okay, checking the doors. Uh, ghost fingerprint. I see it. Ah, there's fingerprints. Did you see them? The ghost or the fingerprints? Because I see the fingerprints. I think that means we know what they are. And I'm now going to leave to the safety of the outside. There is a sprint now, by the way. There's a what now? You can sprint. Oh, that's right. That's right. I don't know if it's the same for controller, but if you press down the left stick, it's sprint for me. I don't know what it for you. Yeah, no, that's right. That's right. So it is a phantom. Correct. Um, all that's left is escaping the ghost during a hunt. I think we should try and do that, or at least you should try and do that. Uh huh. And how do I do that? Um, so if you hide in closets, it can't see you. Also, okay. if you have any electronic devices on, it does find you. So don't leave your flashlight on. Okay, so... Find a closet near where that is, hide in there until it's done. Yeah, but it has to see you. Oh, it has to see me? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do it. So, here's my suggestion for you. Okay? Okay. Um, grab a smudge stick and a lighter. Let me drop this here. Lighter. Smudge stick. Got it. We'll hang out in this living room. Kind of like right here ish. Mm -hmm. um, if it sees us, you light the smudge stick and run upstairs. Uh, how do I light it when I can I, I think it's. Um, so, with you interacting with it, like the F, I think, whatever it is, interact. That is the same as lighting it when you hold a flat when you, when you hold a lighter, okay? So, so as long as I have both of them, it should be fine. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, I will do mine first, just in case. Um, but it may not hunt for a moment because we had pills, and I think you're like 70 still. Gotcha. Um, when it starts hunting, your flashlight will start like this. Marked in your book, and if you haven't marked in your book, go ahead and throw something into the van for me. Hope you can hear that. Just to reiterate. If you have Phantom marked in your book, throw something for me so I can know I'm good to go. Perfect. You're supposed to escape. I tried, and then when I tried to hit the smudge stick, nothing happened. I was, it did go on fire, so I started running I... upstairs, and he found me upstairs somehow. Well, it was following me too. Well, there you go. It um, so basically, the ghost cannot find you if you're hiding behind something. It can't see through doors, but it can hear sounds and equipment. So if your flashlight's on and like it's flashing, then the ghost can use that to find you. Mm -hmm. If you have like an EMF on you, for example, and it's making tons of noise, it'll find you. Um, but yeah. I'm just glad I wasn't able to see it. Ghosts are pretty hard to get away from now. Also, sprinting is the thing that I forgot about. I tried sprinting, but eventually I stopped running. Alright. Alright, I think that's right. it for this one. So, we'll try another one and hopefully live in the next one. Jesus, you are level 300. Yep. It's a pretty big level. So, I can say goodbye, Lerp, and take another shot of your vodka. Yep, more vodka, please. Thank you. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.